and down, trying to get the weight off, off that bad leg. Of course, is so incredibly skinny. Injured leg. Um, gave pain meds last night. I was talking to the doctor. Um, the smell is just so bad. There's so much rotting flesh in its in her leg. Ugh, it just makes me sick. Messed up. All right, so I got a butless paste, uh, sin chill, and also I have um, the meds Doc wants her to have, so we'll make her comfortable for the trip. It's one of the worst cases of abuse at an auction that I've ever seen out of 18 years of rescuing. Definitely in the top 10 as far as horses that should never have been sent to auction. They should have been humanely euthanized a long time ago. Their owner should have done the right thing for their horses. They brought it here and tried to make a few dollars off of it. It's never easy stepping into the shoes of somebody who neglected a horse to this point and then walked away. And that's where we stepped in. It's just never easy and it's very difficult to see this much suffering and pain for the horse. So I spent a lot of this morning, early this morning, just going over the laws in Tennessee because those two horses we rescued are so critical. And it's really frustrating when there's not a law that says you cannot take an injured horse to an auction and um, sell it. And that's, horses in the slaughter pipeline are considered livestock and they fall under, if it was a an injured cow hobbling off to the slaughterhouse, the world would be fine with it. But it's, there's so much injustice when an animal is considered a slaughter animal, they, their rights just go out the window. And I, I hate factory farming for that reason. This little mini is in such horrible condition, extremely foundered. Justin's just given, given some love. Poor little baby. It's so sad to see a miniature horse this skinny. It's so hard to even see this little mini trying to walk. Uh, we gave pain meds last night. Um, I'm gonna give more today. Come on, baby. So we can get um, the intake photos. Ooh, you got your mouth full of grass. Just right, right over to that post. Poor baby. Oh, so sad. All right, so we just got Sinchil on board and we're gonna put him back in a, a holding pen and we'll get the next ones up here uh, to do their intakes on. Pony seems sound. Oh, we got another little mini. Oh, this is a pretty horse. So one thing that's interesting in the summertime, and I don't think this horse is one of them, but in Tennessee, these horses that are black Actually, uh, the sweat and humidity and everything, a uh, black horse sometimes will turn this color in Tennessee. Uh, but you get a really neat, still kind of colored look through the summer. Uh, so it's hard to say if this horse is a black horse or just a bleached uh, black horse or if this is its actual color. Um, both of its knees are in really bad shape. Uh, a horse is gonna need x-rays, but um, from the amount of pain, I mean, you can even just see it in its eyes, it's not looking good. So this horse is lame. It's gonna need x-rays. Um, hopefully it's just an abscess, but last time I said that it was severe arthritis and stuff, but hopefully it's an abscess, it need, needs x-rays. Easy baby, no, don't let it through. Um, so this horse didn't want to be caught, so we're just gonna take the intake photos uh, with her. I think it's a her, uh, loose. But she's been through several different auctions. Um, looks like a quarter horse or quarter horse cross to me. So we've got two different auction tags back there and then the one from last night. A scar on its left hip there. 
I think it's a scar. I don't think it's some weird brand. It looks like a scar to me. Okay. Yeah, it does look like a big scar. Yeah. Have a medicine hat. So it seems to move sound. This horse has very, very goopy eyes. First truck and trailer is on the road and now we are back here. Um, got three more horses to intake and then we'll be loading up. All right, we're gonna bring the draft horse out. Um, Doc's given us lots of pain management uh, for her and um, as you can see, moving much better. Obviously that leg is a huge issue, but it's not painful, so that's a good thing. All right, I think right there I can get the photo from there. Ugh, the leg is just terrible. But I'm so glad she's not hurting. Alright, so this is the one that's extremely critical. Um, still dehydrated, not wanting to drink. Hi, baby, but she's feeling much better. Like, she knows we're trying to help her. She just whinnied at us, nickered when we came up. Um, she's on a lot of pain management, so we know she's not hurting as bad. Um, but that leg ugh, just makes me cringe. Um, so I've been communicating with Doc, and we are going to um, be uh, giving her kind of a, a wrap for support if she'll let us, and... Um, some more meds and then she will hit the road um, and she'll be headed back to the shelter and get the help she needs whatever that is I I I don't see how we could fix her I would love to fix every animal but well. sometimes we just we rescue them to love them and say goodbye and that's the hardest part of being an animal rescuer but somebody's got to do it oh come on baby come on. Jason, we need you to help. Let's see. All right, so walk through you and just take a turn that way. Easy, baby. Definitely moving a lot better. Obviously, can't put weight on that leg, but not as suffering as much with pain. Like her eyes are a lot more chipper when she's moving, so that's good. I think we got the pain under control. We're still going to give her some more stuff to make her as comfortable as we can. Uh, I just wish you all could experience the smells being behind the camera here. It's it feels so bad for her. She's, yeah, it smells pretty bad, that leg. So being I'm just tight, putting so. uh, blood powder, stop blood powder on it because she walked just a little bit and she was bleeding. Such a large injury and it smells so bad, but you got both sides. You want to get it coated well before I wrap it. Ugh, it's ripped all the way down to her hoof. Ugh. Ugh, so nasty. Last, Keith has given her lots of massaging. I'm gonna get down here. I think she'll be safe. Um, she's been really good for me to, uh, to help her so far. So, this is not a great environment to be doing a wrap and it's, keep it as clean as possible. Uh, she gets back where Doc can really help her. Close on. This uh, smells so bad. Uh, um, it's just so much rotting flesh. And it's, it's from here all the way down to the, the bottom of her hoof. Uh, 
surprised there wasn't more flies. You're a good horse. I'm sure she's so relieved that there's somebody actually paying attention to her. I mean, she's obviously suffered like this for quite a while and she's probably like, wow, I actually matter. Somebody actually cares that I am, I'm hurting and I got a leg that's all messed up so much swollen. I wouldn't be surprised if she's got a broken leg in here too. But the x-rays will, will let us know what's going on internally for her. And wrap something too tightly and um, make them more uncomfortable. So basically it's just support and to help her from bleeding. I mean, just a little bit. There's globs of blood over here. And if she's in transport, she could like really start bleeding even more. This leg here is just covered in blood from this injury. I don't, I don't believe that leg is hurt, but I want to make sure I keep it really loose down here along the edge. So I don't want to make it uncomfortable. I love having a, and I do have a lot of it, it was in our auction box today, thick cotton, because you can wrap the leg in cotton and it's not going to get too tight with the, the vet wrap. But we've done as best we can. <sighs> I just wish this horse wasn't having to suffer like she has for so long. I just tuck this right inside there. The baby. All right. Keith is going to get her loaded. I mean, she's doing so much better with Pain both oh, pull her this way. Yeah. The same hind leg on both horses. Say that again, Tony. It's the same hind leg on both horses. They're both so messed up. This is so sad. But they're on pain meds, and we've done everything we can. I'm gonna get them back to the shelter. All right, so we've got one more loose group of horses. We had that little stallion, well, pony. He's mini, he's not a stallion, he just thinks he is. He's been doing good with the big group of horses. Um, sorry. Um, so anyways, we're gonna get them loaded and we're gonna get the little baby horse loaded. Or not the baby, the mini. It's been a rough day. He's been doing really good with the, the mares. They all know he's, uh, they're being nice to him. That's the main thing. Even though he's, he's being a little sassy sometimes. They think it's a joke, I think. That one looks so much like the Palomino we lost from the last auction. Come on guys, come on! Come on! Here we go. All right, we got him loaded up. Got them loaded up and they'll be hitting the road. Headed back to our shelter. She's she just is too little to fit with the the other bigger horses. It's too dangerous. So she'll be much safer inside with us. Huh. She seems really happy and content too. 